Hey everybody, John Fenn here, Church Without Walls International, CWOWI.org. I encourage you to go to our website, sign up for my weekly thoughts and my monthly newsletters. My weekly thoughts are a weekly teaching that come out Friday morning by email. A good variety of subjects, balanced teaching, perspective perhaps you hadn't thought of, or alt offering another perspective to what you have heard. And my monthly newsletter comes out around the 20th usually. Uh, is where I put prophetic things and things of that nature. And on those are where we put announcements of conferences, retreats, uh, Zoom meetings, things of that nature. So cwowi.org, we are a house church network. We rotate homes, we rotate who leads, and uh, you can learn more about it at cwowi.org. And in the EU, cwowi.eu. All right, to talk, today talking about how to become uh, closer to the Lord in worship how to, to change some of the popular songs and your perspective to go from the horizontal to the vertical. The horizontal, what I mean by that is this: these are songs about us. These are things about the earth. These are things like, like you, I say this, but you say that. I can run through a troop and leap over a wall. This is the way I used to be in my past, and this is what I am now. It's all about me, and it's all about my past, and it's all about what he's done for us, which is fine, no problem, but it's not worship. And you're not going to feel intimate. You're not going to feel close. You're not going to feel his presence. You're not going to have a flow coming up out of your spirit because in your spirit, man, it's all, it's a new creation. Old things are passed away. All, all things have become new, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. So when you're looking at your past, that's not going to come up out of your spirit because your spirit man has no past. It is only now in Christ. So those songs don't do anything for you. All right. So we want to turn it vertical. Vertical is all about him. Like, like the worship in Revelation chapter four, you are worthy of all blessing and honor and glory and praise and riches and all adoration. Revelation chapter four and chapter five, look at what, how they worshiped around the throne. It was all about, it was all vertical. It was all about him. So how do we change some worship, worship songs? I'm going to give you three songs. Overwhelmed by Big Daddy Weave, Only a Holy God by Praise Gathering, and Is He Worthy by Chris Tomlin. Now, I want to say right here, there's nothing wrong with these songs as they're written. Nothing wrong at all. They bless the body of Christ. But I want to tell you how to change them from a third person, talking about he and God in terms of a distance, turn it from horizontal to the vertical. This is what I do. I'm, I'm just sharing from my own life, all right? When I hear a song, if it's in the past or about what I used to be, I, I just ignore it. I don't even listen to it. It's not on my playlist. It's like I... I I'm a new creation in Christ. I'm only going forward. I'm a citizen of heaven. So the past is the past. So, so what? All right. I, I'm interested in what God's doing now in my life, not what he used to do. All right. I praise God for it. And I thank him so many times. I'll say, thank you, Father. You saved me. Where would I be? Nothing wrong with that. I do that. But in the, my worship, it's vertical. It's all about him. For instance, let's look at, is he worthy? You know, because I want to say this. When Jesus was on the cross, he cried out, my God, my God, <clears throat> why have you forsaken me? There he was, burdened down by sin of the world, carrying our, our burdens upon himself. And he felt that distance and he called out and he used the term God, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And when he's talking to others, he's talking about the kingdom of God. And I get that. But when it was just between he and the father, it was father. And so many Christians are still addressing him as God instead of Father. And that what they indicate is in their hearts, they don't feel that intimacy, that closeness that they, that they could and I think should. So let's look at, is he worthy? Uh, most notably by Chris Tomlin probably is how most people know the song. And you know the, the, the lines. Yeah. Is, there, is there anyone worthy? Is there anyone whole? Is there anyone able to break the seal and open the scroll? And then the chorus, is he worthy? Is he worthy of all blessing and honor and glory? Is he worthy? And then the, the chorus, the background, the choir will sing in, he is. Well, it's all about he. And so that's like you and I talking on a, <clears throat> you and I talking here in our room, in my room and saying, and saying to you, oh, is he worthy? Do you think? Is he, is he worthy? Is, is there anyone able to, is there anyone whole? Is there anyone able to, to open the seal and, and, and break the scroll open and, and read it? Is, do you, is he worthy? He is worthy. He is worthy. He is. He is. You see, it's all about him. I mean, Jesus could be standing right in the room and you're talking about him. <clears throat> Here's the reality. Christ is in you, the hope of glory. Why are you talking in the third person about him when he lives in you, Christ in you, the hope of glory, the power of the Godhead, the mind of Christ in you? So let's change that song. Is there anyone worthy? 
Is there anyone whole? Is there anyone able to break the seal and open the scroll? And, and, uh, let's see, and this says, oh, are you worthy? Are you worthy of all blessing and honor and glory? You are. You are. You are. You personalize it. You turn it to him. Don't do third person. Say, yeah, he is. He is. Yeah, as a matter of fact, he is. No, it's you are. You are. That's how you turn a horizontal song to a vertical. Let's go to Overwhelmed by Big Daddy Weave. God, I run into your arms, unashamed. Excuse me, my voice here. <clears throat> Just finished the conference and a lot of talking and a little congestion here. All right. God, I run into your arms, unashamed because of mercy. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed by you. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. Perfect. And he's addressing God at the beginning. So why not just change that to, Father, I run into your arms. Not God, which is okay. But if you want to get that intimacy, that flow out of your spirit, Father or Lord, or change it to where it's you and him. And, and he goes on <clears throat> and said, and says, oh God, there is no one more beautiful. You are beautiful. God, you are the most beautiful. Just change that to Father or Lord. You follow me? You get it? So uh, how about only a holy God by praise gathering? Come and behold him, the one and the only. Cry out, sing holy, forever a holy God. Uh, come and worship the uh, holy God. Uh, sorry, I put in parentheses the parts that I wanted to change. I have this on my praise on my uh, worship list, and I changed the words. And so it's come and be, I changed it from come and behold him to come and behold you. The one and the only. Cry out, sing holy forever. Instead of singing uh, a holy God, forever my holy God. Or sometimes I'll say forever my, usually I sing forever my holy father. My father, my Lord. And come and worship the only father. Father God. I change it to personalize it and it flows out of my spirit. So uh, think about that. Think about your favorite worship song that you so-called worship. Is it horizontal or is it vertical? There's a lot of even old hymns, you know, uh, how great thou art. Turn, th th there's songs that just turn from the horizontal and then they go vertical. And what you're looking for to flow out of your spirit is that vertical. You're looking for that. So change the words from he to you. Change it from God to Father or Lord or Jesus and address it personally because you don't want to be talking about him. Is he worthy? Yeah, yeah, he, he is, as a matter of fact. He is worth. Just say, are you worthy? Yes, you are. And just worship him out of your spirit. You, it will change your life so much. I hope it's been a blessing to you. C-W-O-W-I dot O-R-G. And uh, like I said, visit our website. And there's so much there. There's question and answer videos about house church. There are podcasts. There's free worship podcasts. Uh, just, just so much. All right. Hope this has been food for thought. Change your thoughts about the Father God. Change your thoughts about the Lord. Address the Father personally. Address the Lord Jesus personally by simply changing the songs around. And I encourage you, stop looking over your shoulder. Stop looking at the past. Look at the present. Look at what he is doing now in your life. And then you can cry out, is there anyone worthy? Is there anyone whole? Is there anyone able to break the seal and open the scroll? Are you worthy? Are you worthy of all blessing and honor and glory? You are. You are. Love that song that way. All right. Like I said, my favorite, uh, one of my favorites is Holy, Holy, Holy Live by Praise Gathering. Holy, Holy, Holy Live by Praise Gathering kind of goes through the doxology and then the, just turns vertical. So anyway, God bless. Some thoughts for today.